Next, we learn from NEIS, the Nuclear Energy Information Service, about the efforts in preventing Exelon from pursuing corporate welfare in an attempt to stump renewable energy. They have, Exelon made $24 billion worth of profits last year. So they are really hurting. They are really hurting. <laughs> I want everyone to really feel sorry for Exelon and buy a cupcake for $25,000. Nope. I think just stay ripped. No. All you have is the Right. Uh, they want a billion and a half dollars in bailouts through rate increases. We figured if we helped them out a little bit, maybe we could get that number down. So we're having a bake sale to benefit Exelon to keep the bailout as low as possible. Exelon claims five of its reactors in Illinois are unprofitable and they're threatening to close them and terminate 2,300 jobs. But in 2014, the total revenues for Exelon amounted to over $27 billion. They had an operating net income of $2.5 billion and their CEO got a benefits package worth $17 million. So it doesn't sound like a company that's really hard up for cash. Actually, closing the nuclear plants would be a good thing for Illinois. It would usher in renewable energy that much faster. Uh, we do have some concerns about how the workers would be treated. We've, we've been arguing with legislators they should enact something called Just Transition to help workers and communities with the transition to a renewable energy future. But overall, it would be a good thing if nuclear plants close in Illinois. The Exelon legislation uh, is going to be heard for the first time in the Senate Energy Committee. So this thing is going to go on fast track. Our fear is that the politics as usual in Springfield is going to prevail. And the good legislation, which will create 32,000 jobs in the renewable energy sector, uh, won't see the light of day. It's up to citizens to get off their butts, to stop a $2 billion bailout for Exelon and support renewable energy tell their legislators to vote no on Exelon, vote yes for the Clean Jobs Act. Exelon for the last two years has championed a national campaign uh, called Nuclear Matters. The purpose of the campaign is to seek bailouts for failing nuclear plants around the country, but a bigger picture item is that the real purpose is to kill renewable energy and energy efficiency, which cuts into Exelon profits. So we really do have a war, a, a nuclear war, going on nationally against renewable energy, spearheaded by the Exelon Corporation. The legislature has just started its session, and it's assigned the Exelon legislation to the Senate Energy Committee. It'll also be heard in the House as well. But uh, today is the first hearing. There'll be a few more hearings on this, and then eventually the suspicion is that House Speaker Mike Madigan is going to convene a big powwow to horse trade away different provisions of the bills. That's where we usually lose. We can't afford this to be horse traded. This is an all or nothing campaign. Either Exelon bill goes down or renewable energy is going to go down. What people should do is oppose House Bill 3293 and Senate Bill 1585. This is the Exelon legislation. It's designed to kill renewable energy and provide almost $2 billion worth of bailout money to the Exelon Corporation for unprofitable nuke plants.